This is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. All right, this is Tampa Tech, and I want to show you what is the difference between an expensive HDMI cable compared to a cheap HDMI <laughs> cable. All right, and I'll explain. Um, we're going to compare um, $70 HDMI cable a $10 HDMI cable. Okay. All right, if you say there's no differences between all those cables, you are correct. But at the same time, you're incorrect. And I'll explain why. All right, we hooked up the $70 HDMI cable to the TV. I did calibrate the TV. This TV is 1080p. All right, and the settings on the PlayStation 3 are 1080p as well with full color. All right, so all the settings are turned on on the PS3. All right, let's go ahead and connect the other one. Now that was the expensive HDMI we just connected, which is the $70 HDMI cable. Now we're connecting the cheaper HDMI cable. And I got this one, and this one was, I think I got it for eight bucks. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this. Pretty close, you're gonna see, hey, this is pretty close to the same thing, people. But if you look over here, there's a little bit of color distortion. So it's struggling with the color right there. Whereas before, it didn't have that. So there's slightly, you'll see a slight difference. Not much, if you're standing six feet back, you're not gonna see that, by the way. See that right there? And that, if you're standing like six, seven feet back, you're not gonna see that. See, it disappears into the screen. So the human eye from far back can't see that. So they're pretty close. Now let's go ahead and connect the next one. All right, now I connected to the other one. And this HDMI cable is, I think $8 or $10, pretty much the same as this one. All right, now if you could tell, that one's a little bit thicker, this one's a little bit thinner. All right, so let's go look right here. Look at the picture. The color is right there. The distortion is still there compared to the other cheap HDMI cable right here. So they're pretty close to the same thing. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but I could barely tell a difference except for that little speckle, green speckles right there. All right, now let's go ahead and connect the next grade up higher, which is the $20 HDMI cable, which is that one right there. So that one's about like eight bucks. This one's about like eight bucks, eight to 10 bucks. Um, and then this one right here, we're gonna connect next. And that one I think is, I think 20 bucks. Let's connect that and now connect this. All right, now we connected the other one. Now all these cables are 1080p. They're all rated for 3D passing and HDMI control, it does synchronize with your home theater and it has that feature as well. All right, now let's go zoom in. The color distortion is still there. It's very minimum, very, very minimum, but it's still there. The PS3 is set to full color. Not limited color, but full deep color, okay? And there's no more, slightly more distortion up there. But as you pull back, you don't see it as much. So there is differences there. Now I got the um, cable box on. The cable box, as you can see, there's no distortion right here. But then again, the cable box settings are way lower than the PS3. PS3 is full uh, HD, 1080p, full color. Um, so there's more information passing through the HDMI cable. The, H, uh, the cable box, however, is not. So you don't get that distortion you were you know, getting before all right, right here. Now, in the end result, I'm gonna tell you, the differences and the things that are same, is things that are same, they both do 3D. They both do 1080p, okay? On uh, probably a 720p TV, they're gonna look the same quality, all right? The reason why I say that is this is rated for 1440p. If you're passing 
you know, 720p is the highest resolution from a cable box. You're passing through your TVs at 720p. You're not testing the true um, the true possibilities of this. This you're really pretty much maxing out. All right, it's only 1080p for this one, and this one's 1440p. So when you hook it up to a 720p TV, it's going to look the same. So you're correct in that sense. All right. And also the 3D passing, you're correct. They both will pass equally 3D. Now, in the future, which one would you most likely have in the future still? If you bought a new TV that's 1440p, you're probably, and you have like a new game system like PlayStation 4 in the next five years might come out, you know, which one are you going to use? Not that one. You're going to use this one. And which one do you think is going to last in 10 years? Not this one, probably this one. The metal casing, compared to a plastic casing, most likely the metal casing will last through the years. Not saying this is going to break, but if you take your, you know, you know, unplugging things and plugging it in, you're moving things around, you swap out your cable box, swap out your PS3, you know, this one over time will most likely, compared to this one, this one will break. So in the future, you'll most likely use this one. So longevity, I would choose this one. All right. Now, let's say you hook it up to a bedroom TV and you're not going to um, upgrade your TV. You're just going to leave it. And you're, you know, you got a cheaper TV and you're not really caring about the full HD and all that stuff like that. Then this one I would choose. I would choose the $10 to $20 HDMI cable over the $70 HDMI cable. If you're hooking it up to a 720p TV, they're not planning to upgrade within the next five to 10 years. But if you are planning to upgrade within the next five to 10 years, you definitely get this one. All right, let me know, the post a comment below and let me know what you think and your experience. My experience, I've been doing this for 10 years of a home theater tech, doing installations for thousands of people all over Florida and uh, that's my experience and I also do TV repairs check out my videos on my Tampa Tech channel and I, uh, I got a degree in computer electronics just to you know validate my video I do have a, a degree in that and I am uh, home theater and PC certified but in all sense if you have a cheap TV to recap get this one if you have expensive TV get this one all right and if you're planning to upgrade, get this one. Thanks for watching. Post a comment below and subscribe to Tampa Tech.